Hello, and welcome to the instructional video for the Housing Choice Voucher Application, also known as the Section 8 Program, of the Housing Authority of the City of Austin. The waiting list will open at 12 p.m. noon on September 17, 2018, and remain open until 11.59 p.m. on September 24. All applications must be submitted online at www.hakaapply.org. You can apply anywhere with internet access, even your smartphone or tablet. Due to the large number of applications we are expected to receive, we will not be able to place every applicant on the waiting list. Therefore, we will conduct a random lottery to choose 2,000 applications from the total number of applications received. Because this is a lottery, it does not matter if you apply on the first day of the waiting list opening or the last day. All applications will have the same chance of being selected. This video will walk you through the entire application process, step by step, as well as provide some additional information about how to check to see if you've been selected in the random lottery. To begin, open up a web browser on your internet device. In the address bar, type in the application website, www.hacaapply.org. Once the web page appears, you will see on the top right hand side the option to choose either English or Spanish. For this video, we will select English. Please see the Spanish instructional video for instructions in Spanish. On the top left hand side of the web page, you will see options to enlarge the text on the page. If you would like the text to display with the larger font, you can select L for large and XL for extra large font. Also on this page, you will find some information about the housing programs provided by the Housing Authority of the City of Austin, which we'll refer to as HACA from this point forward, as well as some basic information about eligibility. In order to complete the information requested in the application, you will need the following information. Full names of all household members. Social Security numbers. Please note at least one member in the household must have a Social Security number. Birth dates for all household members, the estimated gross income of the household, and a valid mailing address. HACA will send all communication by mail, so it's extremely important to enter the mailing address correctly. Further, during your time on the waiting list, please be sure to update your mailing address whenever it changes. If you miss a required appointment or deadline, you could lose your place on the waiting list. Now we are ready to begin the application. Start by entering the date of birth for the head of household. Next, we want to select the program for which we are applying. If you would like to apply for one of HACA's public housing or project-based rental assistance programs, select the box for that program and then select the property for which you would like to apply in the following box. Since we want to highlight the Housing Choice Voucher or Section 8 waiting list opening in this video, we will select that box, then we will confirm our selection by selecting the second box that appears. Then, enter the social security number of the head of household. If the head of household does not have a social security number, select I don't have a SSN. Otherwise, please select Continue. The web page will then automatically direct you to the application. On the application, enter the full name of the head of household in the boxes provided. Then select the gender from the drop-down box provided. The date of birth and social security number that was entered on the previous page will automatically populate in the boxes for number 3 and number 4. Select the correct race and ethnicity option from the drop-down list provided in questions number 5 and number 6. If you or your spouse are disabled, check the box for question number 7. Question number 8 asks for a mailing address. Please be sure that the address you enter is typed correctly. As mentioned earlier, HACA will send all communication by mail. If you miss a required appointment, you could lose your place on the waiting list. Next, questions number 9 and 10 ask for a phone number and email address. 
Although it is preferable that you provide this information, neither of these fields are required. Question number 12 asks about the additional family members in the household. Enter the requested information for each family member. Please do not enter the information for the head of household again. This section is only for the additional family members in the household. household. The relationship status can sometimes be confusing, so let's go through each option. Spouse is the husband or wife of the head of household. Co-head is an individual in the household who is not the spouse but equally responsible for the lease with the head of household. Foster child or foster adult is a minor or adult that is in the household under the foster care of a household member. Choose other youth under 18 for the other children in the household that are under 18 years old. If the household member is not the head of household, co-head, or spouse, but is over 18 and a full-time student, please select full-time student 18 plus. A live-in aide is an individual in the household that is only in the household to take care of a disabled household member. An other adult is a household member that is over 18 but is not a full-time student and is not the spouse or the co-head. Once you've completed the information about other household members, you will find below some additional questions. Answer each one by selecting the appropriate answer from the corresponding drop-down list. The next section is asking you about the annual gross income for the household. The answer should be the combined income before deductions for all family members. This information will not be verified until you come to the top of the waiting list and attend your eligibility interview. The last question asks if you have been involuntarily displaced within the last six months by a natural disaster or government action. To verify this waiting list preference, HACA will require documentation from FEMA, Red Cross, or another government agency. The final section includes the federal regulation Title 18, which states that it is illegal to willingly provide false information to a government agency. Please read the three statements that follow and check the corresponding boxes. When you have completed checking the boxes, you have completed all required information. Please select the button below that says Complete Application. On the page that follows, you will be provided a confirmation number. You should document your number for your records. You are given the option to email the confirmation number by selecting the button that says Email me my confirmation info. If you did not provide an email address in the application, you may document your confirmation number by either taking a picture of it with your phone or writing the number down. Once the waiting list closes on September 24th, the lottery will be completed within the month that follows. At that time, you can check to see if you've been chosen by going to www.hakanet.org forward slash 2018 lottery. On this web page, you will be provided additional information about the waiting list opening and the expected timeline for the completion of the lottery. Once the lottery is complete, you may check to see whether or not your application was selected by clicking on Check My HCV Application in the upper right-hand corner of the page. On the following page, you will need your confirmation number or the Social Security number of the head of household as well as the birth date of the head of household. Once the required information has been entered, select the Look Up button below. If the lottery has been completed, the page that follows will tell you whether or not your application was selected and any following steps that should be taken. Thank you for applying for the Housing Choice Voucher Program of the Housing Authority of the City of Austin. 
For more information on HACA and the housing programs that HACA provides, please visit www.hacanet.org.